Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi. No, uh, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you once again. How are you? Hi, you? Fine. I am doing excellent, thank God. With a lot of rain, but we're here. We are happy to be with all of you. Hi, students. Hello, um, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Is it raining hi, near your house? A little yes, bit. Yes. A little. It's raining a little. <laughs> a, a few. No. Well, uh, for, for the rain, you say it's raining a little, right? It's raining little. a little. Or you okay. say it's raining really hard. If yes, the rain, hard. if the rain is it's it's very heavy, you say it's raining really hard. Um, okay. So that's the way we use it. Well, it is a pleasure to accompany you once again. And thank God the rain stopped because it was very, very hard. But uh, we are here. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Jaime, Santos. Hello, oh. Ana Maria. Mr. William, Catherine, Rocio, Mr. Erasmo, Ciro. Hello, Rosa, Claudia, Claudia Roxana. Hi. Tania, hello. It's a pleasure to see everybody in the class. Mr. Walter. Hello. Oh. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Well, so today we are going to start with our class. And we're going to uh, remind a little bit on the rules for each of the classes. Remember, please, students, to practice your English as much as possible, right? Because that's the idea to practice your English all the time, to be respectful and polite, to attend all the classes, to keep your cameras active all the time, to work in the educational platform. And if you can advance as much as possible, that would be fantastic, right? Keep an active and cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group. Okay, that would be some of the things that we need to keep in mind for uh, our classes. Today, we're going to work in WH questions with B, and we're going to review a little bit of reading, right? We're going to work a little bit on the reading. Did we have homework from yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? No. no uh -huh. We didn't have homework. The only homework yeah, was to work on the platform, right? To work on the platform was the only homework that we had from yesterday. So right here, we're going to start today by classifying a little bit on the greetings and the farewells. What are the farewells? The ways to say bye-bye. And the greetings are the ways to say hello, right? So if you classify by, it will be in the greetings or in the farewells. Uh -huh. Bye bye is a greeting. Lo ocupamos para saludar. Or to say uh, the contrary, a farewell, una despedida. Farewell. It's a farewell, right? Bye is a farewell. It's a farewell. What about hey? Hey. It's greeting. It's a greeting, right? Hey, it's a greeting. Good morning. It's greeting. Good morning is a greeting. Good night. What is good night? It's a greeting. Is it a greeting or a farewell? It's a farewell teacher. It's a farewell because you use it when you are going to your it's bed, good. when you are going to sleep. Yes. Right, when you are going to sleep, you say, okay, people, good night, bye-bye, right? How are you? Is it a greeting or a farewell? It's a greeting, teacher. How are you? It's a greeting, right? Yes. Goodbye. It's a greeting. Goodbye, Isa. 
farewell because farewell. you are saying bye bye, right? Goodbye, goodbye. The word, how is it going? It's a greeting. It's a greeting, right? It's a greeting. Yes. Have a good day. It's a greeting, teacher. It's a greeting. See you later. It's a farewell. It's a farewell. It's a farewell, right? Hello? It's a greeting. It's a greeting. It's a greeting and see you tomorrow. It's a farewell. It's a farewell. It's a farewell. Very good job. So, in the case of this one, here I have, have a good day. And the answer that you use for this one is, thank you. You too. Thank you. Yes. If I tell you, hi, how are you? What will be the next part? Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. Letter B. If I tell you, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you. See you. Letter C. Okay, see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning right? You answer in the same way. So, if I say, for example, Ciro, have a good day. Yes. Thank you. You too. Okay. Rocio, hi, how are you? Fine. Thanks. And you? Very good. William, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, too. Alicia Guadalupe, good morning. Good morning. Well, good evening in this case because we are at night. Excellent. So it is important that you remember these types of farewells and greetings for you to interact with people as soon as you see them, right? As soon as you see them. Hello, how are you? Hi, etc. 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 Good. So let's go with uh, the main part of our class for today. I have a couple of questions for all of you. I am going to show them here. I am going to keep the microphones off uh, while we are not participating so we can actually listen to everybody. So here, I have some questions. But the first thing that we're going to do before going to the questions, I need you please to copy these five options in your notebook, okay? Or you can screenshot them, or you can copy them, or you can take a picture of them. It's okay, the way you want. I would prefer that you copy because you exercise your handwriting with that. So you have to copy these options that we have here. These are the ones that I need you to copy because you are going to use them later with the article. And it is good if you have them already. And if you want, if you don't want to copy them, you can screenshot them or you can take a picture of them the way you want, okay? Before we go to the discussions. And send me a like there on the reactions when you finish copying. You look very nice and dedicated writing, but it's very good. <laughs> Teacher, disculpe, yes. eh, me voy a pasar para otro dispositivo porque no tengo buena señal en este. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. <coughs> Teacher, eh, disculpe, no, yes. no, no he comprendido el, la tarea ahorita. Okay, what... Okay, let's see. Okay, what we are going to do right now, before we go to the uh, discussion, we are going to copy the things that I have right there in the circle in your notebook, because you are going to use them later. La vamos a usar eh, después de este ejercicio, pero es mejor que ya las tengan, okay? Yeah, so I need you to copy them. These five sentences, okay? Okay, de acuerdo. Ma magnífico. Gracias. Go ahead. Go ahead, Gracias. Erasmo. Don't worry.
Okay, so please tell me when you finish writing. Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry for the interruption. Uh, okay, did you finish copying? Yes. Great. I'm ready. Fantastic. Yeah, if sometimes you listen to a little commercial, it's my kid. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use this one uh, later on. We're going to use this ones in a moment, but we're going to go first with the discussion. I have here four questions for discussion. And what we're going to do is the following. You are going to participate uh, the way you want, right? We have here the four questions for discussions. Do you like your name? Yes or no? And why? Yes. Do you have a nickname? Yes or no? Do you know what the meaning of nickname, right? Apodo. Un apodo, un nombre corto, right? O algo que siempre le digan eh, sus amigos o familiares. Would you like to change your name? Yes or no, and why? And what are the most common names in our country? So if you want to give me an answer, if you want to give me one of the answers from the fourth questions, you can do it right now. And you tell me, teacher, I want to answer number one, two, three, or four, and you just provide your answer, okay? So just tell me, me, teacher, I want to answer number one, number two, number three, or number four. I, I want to answer the number one. Aha, go ahead. Okay. Yes, I like my name because uh, it was used by uh, royalty. Hey, and good. And that's the first reason. So William, it's a name from the royalty. So that's why you like it. Excellent job. Yes. Thank you very much for your answer. Who is next? Question number four. Uh -huh. Oscar, what go ahead. The, what are the most common names in our country? Maybe it's John or Juan. Juan. Uh -huh. Juan is one of the most common names in our country. Thank you very much, Oscar, for your participation. Very good job. Thank you very much. Who's next? Me and you two. Um, so. Go ahead. Uh, I, I was a child. My nickname, my nickname uh, is uh, Candy. Candy Pecosa, how do you say? Candy Pecosa, <laughs> like um, the cartoon. Candy, yes. Candy. Yes. <laughs> So, okay. So that was your nickname when you were a kid. And now, do you have a nickname? No. No more. Good. No, no more. Okay, Ciro, do you want to answer any of the questions? Would you like to change or your my name? The, uh, the answer is no, because my I am happy with my name. You are happy with your name. It's not common and that's very good, right? It's yeah. not a common name. So that's fantastic. Okay, someone else who wants to answer? Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Ciro. Thank you very much. Great, great job. Okay, any other volunteer who wants to answer the questions?
Volunteers at one, two, three. Fatima Guadalupe, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, honey. Um, pues, la verdad no he comprendido bien, pero eh, me explica, teacher, un okay, you have to choose one of the questions that you have there. Do you like your name? Do you have a nickname? Would you like to change your name? Yes or no? Or what are the most common names in your country? You have to choose one of the sentences and answer it. Um, and do you have a nickname? Yes, uh -huh. yes. Um, pues, yes. Um, my name is Fatima uh Lupe. Uh -huh. um, a veces me dicen Lupe. Ah, Lupe, Pero Lupita. No <laughs> yes, I imagine. <laughs> Yeah, it's not very common that people like the nicknames. No. Okay, so thank you very people much. Like <laughs> thank you, Fatima. Thank you for your answer. Very good job. Alicia Guadalupe, you have your hand up. Go ahead. Okay, in the question number one, do you uh -huh. like your name? Uh, yes. Why? Uh, because it's nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's Alicia Hernandez, I love. <laughs> you love it. And that's fantastic, right? If you like it, enjoy it. Very good. Ana yes. Maria. Ana Maria, go ahead. Thank you, Alicia, for your answer. Yes, Ana Maria. Okay. Maybe Ana Maria has difficulties with the audio or the microphone. What happened? Sorry. <laughs> uh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, question number one. Uh -huh. uh, uh, do you like your name? And uh, yes, why? Uh, like um, my, my name? And uh, why? Um, is it's beautiful, it's special, mm. and significado, no sé cómo decirlo. <laughs> and the meaning? And the meaning. And because of the meaning, do you know what is the meaning of your name? What is the meaning of Ana Maria? What? What is the meaning of your name? Uh, what is the meaning? Que si tiene algún significado. Yes. Uh -huh. um, Ana. Uh -huh. Pero no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Hey, or you can share it in Spanish and we're going to try to, to recreate it. Ok. Este, elegida por Dios. Uh, chosen by God. Chosen by God. Chosen by God. Hey, that's very beautiful. Thank you, Ana Maria, for sharing. Thank you for the participants. Very, very nice. Do you like your name? In some cases, you say, yes, I do like my name, or no, 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 I don't like my name. For example, in my case, I am Evelyn Natalie. Uh, Evelyn, I don't like it that much, but I like Natalie or Nati, right? That it's the nickname. I, I really like it. So uh, would you like to change your name? No, I wouldn't like to change my name because, I mean, it's my grandmother's name, so I wouldn't change it. And what are the most common names in our country? Uh, you were mentioning that Juan is one of the most popular names. Another popular name that we have in El Salvador? Maybe Maria. Pepe. Maria. Pedro. <laughs> Jose, Pedro. Peter. 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 <laughs> For my American friends. Peter is Peter. famous. Um, Peter. Claudia. Claudia, right? Claudia. <laughs> we have Juan. a lot of Claudia. Juan. <laughs> Carmen, Jaime. right? Claudia. Jaime. Rosa. Jaime. Rosa. 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 Yeah. Brian. Uh, Brian. Brian. Brian and Miguel. Kevin. 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 Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bolivia. Juanitas, Anitas, right? We have Maveling. Yeah, we have a lot of Maveling now. It was not very popular before, but now it's like, yeah, my God, there are a lot of Mavelings all over. Stevens, Bryans, right? We have a lot of names. Ronaldos too, because of the of the soccer player, people call their names, their, their kids like that. And what is the most, uh, well, what is the strangest name that you have heard in El Salvador? Is okay, William mentioned one. Which one? Yes, I had a. Uh, 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 a compañero de clase. A classmate? classmate. I had a classmate that he named Bismarck. Bismarck. It was a German name. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Any other curious name that you have heard? Darling and Naoli. Darling and Naoli. Yeah, I imagine. Those very strange and crazy names. The so, name Sharon. Sharon. Yes, Sharon. Yes, Sharon. Okay, Sharon. Which one, Ciro? Yes, Sir. Yasir. Yeah, I have. I had a student who was called Yasir. But you see, and why was I talking about the names? And you might say, teacher, but what are you talking about names? Why? Well, because we're going to go over a little reading today. And on this reading, we are going to study a little bit of the vocabulary for uh, the different names, right? And we're going to practice a little bit of reading as well. Reading, pronunciation, and intonation. In this case, we are going to go over the reading, right? We are going to go over the reading and uh, the reading is called what is in a name, right? What is in a name? And it is basically of what I was asking you. And it says, okay, I need you to pay attention because later on you are going to use the information with the things that you copy before. And it says, what's in a name? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Okay. Eh, si encuentran alguna palabra nueva, escríbanla en su cuaderno porque después vamos a hacer eh, preguntas de vocabulario. Okay. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of the famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Boys' names, George, the meaning, average or boring. Jacob, creative, friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. Girls' names, Betty, old fashioned, average. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain and ordinary. Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Bettys out there. Okay, so this is the moment for you to get your vocabulary and we are going to ask and answer questions, okay? What is the meaning about athletes? Character or athletes and then what is the pronunciation? Characters or athletes? What is the meaning? Athletes are atletas. Thank you. Jordan. Yeah, like, like Michael Jordan, exactly like that, right? Like yeah. Michael Jordan. Okay. And when you say book characters yeah. are like 
uh, imagine if you call one kid Harry Potter because of the character of the book, right? Harry Potter, come here in the pupuseria. Right? Ana Maria, what is your question? Teacher, ¿qué significa suggest? Suggest, sugieren. Okay, it is surprising. Which one? Of course. Of course, it's like a for supuesto. for supuesto, right? Of course. Desde luego. Desde for luego. ¿Qué significa survey? Survey. survey. Okay, survey, it will be like this. Uh, Oscar, do you like ice cream? Yes or no? Yes, you say. Jaime, do you like ice cream? Yes or no? Yes. Uh, Ana Maria, do you like ice cream? Yes or no? Encuesta, right? That's the meaning of mm -hmm. survey. Sur surprisingly. Surprisingly okay. is like sorpresivamente. Surprisingly. Surprising. Average. Agree. Agree. Average. Okay, here, average is promedio. Común, normal. What is the next one? For the Agree. factions. Okay, I have old fashioned and agreed. Agree, agree, agree. And I think it's right here. People in ah. general agree. Agree. Eh, están de acuerdo. Perdón. De acuerdo, ponerse de acuerdo. Old fashioned is like, ah, it's from the 80s, or that it's not very common now. Eso es como de la, de la vieja escuela. Mm -hmm. Right, old fashioned. De la época pasada. De la época, de, from the previous century, they say. <laughs> Okay, uh, who had the hand up? I saw one person with, with a question. ¿Alguien tenía una pregunta? Sí, ¿qué significa la palabra mig? No sé cómo se pronuncia. Mig become, dice, al final. Ooh, let's see. Ah, might become. Might. Puede convertirse. Might. 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 might become popular in the future. We never know. A name that is done that is not popular right now, it might become yeah. popular in the future. Okay, Fatima, yeah. yes, tell mm -hmm. me. Hey, ¿Cómo se pronuncia surprising? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Surprisingly. 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 Sorpresivamente. Surprisingly. People generally agree on the way they feel about names. Any other question? In the word crime. Where is it? In the first paragraph, the second Jen, one, the third Jen. one? Where is Jen? The girl's name. Ah, plain. Yes. Plain, it's like, how, how can I tell you this? Plain will be like okay. normal, plana, aburrida. Plain. Okay. Plain and ordinary. That is to say like, no, it is very common if you say like, oh, que cuadrada. So th that's plain, right? Como aburrido. Quizá. Aburrida, huh? Ordinary. Thank you. Any other question? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes, Alicia. Este... Eh, para decir, o sea, ¿cómo se pronuncia? O sea, yo le digo, teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Pero eso ah. digo en español. Pero how, para preguntárselo uh -huh. en inglés, ¿cómo le digo? Teacher, how do you pronounce? You pronounce. How do you pronounce? I am how going to do you pronounce? I am going to send it on the chat for everybody, okay? This is surviving language and that's perfect. How do you pronounce okay how do you pronounce in uh, for the next one you say what is the meaning of and you tell me the word what is the meaning of and you give me the word okay? nerdy nerdy very intelligent cerebrito right that's nerdy it's nerd aha but it's like a uh, que intelectual Que, cele, que cerebrito, right? Very intelligent, serious. Yes, Rosa, do you have a question? Okay, so if you don't have any question, 
If you don't have any question, we are going to work in the next part of this reading. For this one, I am going to um, I am going to ask you please to screenshot the reading. I need you to screenshot the reading or to take a picture of it. Sáquenle un screen o una foto porque la vamos a ocupar. So, uh, get the reading and we are going to go to the different rooms. We are going to go to the mini rooms and what you are going to do is that you are going to answer the questions that you copy. Do you remember that you the questions that you copy? Yes. Okay, so on the questions that you copy, you are going to work in mini groups and you are going to answer if the questions are true or if the questions are false, if the sentences are true or if the sentences are false according to the reading. Because when you come back, you are going to tell me, okay, number one is false. And I am going to ask you, why? Ah, because here it says that this and this and this, okay? So you are going to tell me if they are true or they are false according to the reading, okay? Do you have the picture of the reading already? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. So we are going to go to mini groups. We are going to work in groups of three or four. And what you are going to do in the groups. Okay, Fatima, tell me. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. So we're going to work in the mini groups and you are going to tell me if the sentences presented are true or false. Remember that the ones that you are going to use are the ones that you copy, okay? Here. Estas que tenemos aquí, las que copiamos, okay? So these ones are the ones that you are going to tell me if they are true or false according to the reading. Ready? Ready. 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 Let's go to the groups. Yes. Let's go. Let's go to the mini groups. You will receive the invitation right now. Teacher, I'm not in the group. Yet. Wait, wait, you are going to receive the invitation in a second. Okay, thank you. Yes, you are going to see the invitation right now. Okay, William. Yes, the invitation is there. Okay, you haven't received the invitation? Not yet. Okay, so I am going to move you to another group then. Okay, Catherine, you haven't received the invitation. No. Okay, Catherine, I am going to move you to room three. Yes, did you receive it? Tania, you haven't received the invitation. Tania, have you received the invitation? Ana Maria? Ana Maria, have you received the invitation to move to the next group? Hello, hello. Okay, Tania. Did you receive the invitation? Oh, hi, Ana Maria. Didn't you receive the invitation to enter to the rooms? Teacher, no tengo ahorita con quien. No tengo grupo. Me sacó y volví a entrar. Okay, I am going to move you right now. There you go. There you go. Perfect. So all of them are in the rooms. So let's go to see how they are doing. De la pantalla. Que no vinieron a supervisar. Ajá. 
<laughs> so continue working, continue working. I am just here yeah. if you need any help. Es que estamos pensando que, bueno, que era de contestar de acuerdo al artículo, ¿verdad? Las preguntas. Uh -huh. Yes, you have to preguntas. tell me, you have to tell me if they are true or false. If the information uh -huh. is true or false. Sí, así era, verdadero uh -huh. o falso. Yes. Ok. Sure. Yes. Este, ¿cuál información tenemos que contestar? Porque yo le tomé la captura de la pantalla de la of the reading. De, 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 exacto, donde dice uh -huh. your name is very important. Uh, exactly like that. But before uh, that, before that, you copy some sentences. Do you remember? Copiaron yes. unas preguntas yes. antes. So those are the ones uh -huh. that you are going to see yeah. if they are true Ex or false. Example. Uh -huh. Your name, sí, sí. your name is part of your identity. Exactly. That's it's one. True. That one you're going to say if it's true or false. Okay. It's true. Okay. It's true. Perfect. So if you don't have any other question, I am going to go and supervise the next group. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Continue working. Continue working. Okay. Okay. Now you have access to share the screen. No, I'm not now you can share the screen. Ya les di acceso para que puedan compartir pantalla. Okay, Oh, but you are sharing them on the chat. There you go. Perfect. I think something no, happened se with se the sharing. Okay, let me share them here. I am going to share it with you. Okay, can you see it? Okay. Okay, so let me know when you can see it. Yeah, teacher. Okay, so now you can screenshot it and you can keep it. Okay, did you screenshot it? Ya lo guardaron? So if you save it, I am going to go to see the ne next group. Hola. Okay, si ya lo guardaron, voy al siguiente grupo. Okay, now they can see you. Yes, teacher. Okay, fantastic. So I am going to go to check on the next group, okay? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm going to go to the next one. False. 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 Yes, it's false. Okay, I find them. And what is the result your, uh, your yeah. <clears throat> Okay, no problems? Any problem. 
Excellent. So I am going to go and check the rest. Okay, very good. I am going to go to number four. No problem. No problem. No, no problem. Todo. Everything's nice. Yeah. Fantastic. Very good. Yeah. So if there is no problem, great. All right. I am going to go to the last group if you don't have any difficulty. So we're about to finish. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay, perfect, because we are about to go back to the general meeting, okay? Okay. okay. Let's go back. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, okay, welcome back. So let's see, who wants to give me answer number one? Hello, hello, welcome back. Hello. Hello. Fantastic. Okay, so many of you finished answering the questions that we were working in um, the mini groups, right? We're going to work in the answers that you got. So let's see. Who wants to give me answer number one? Me. Go ahead. Three. Two. One is a two. One it, number one is true. It's true. It's true. Right? Number one is true. Number two, can you read the sentence, please, and tell me if it is true or false? Who wants to help me with number two? Number two. It's true. It's true. Number two is true. Excellent. What about number three? False. It's false. Number three is false. So number three, number three, if I am not mistaken, it's 
It boys, doesn't say. Boys, na boys' names are more popular than girls' names. So if it is not mentioned, so you can say that uh, it is false because it is not specified, right? If it is not specified, then you can say, no, I think it's it, false. What it about, doesn't say. yes, mm -hmm. it doesn't give you more information. Number four, what can you tell me? True. It's true, true. It's true. true right? Number four, it's true. People often name, uh, people are often named after a family member. And the last yeah. one? False. Opinions. True. True. Opinions true. about names can change. It's true. It's true. It's true, right? Because they say, who knows? Maybe right now George and Betty are popular, but later on it is going to be different. So opinions can change. Yes. Very good job. Excellent job, kids on the on the groups. That was very nice. Kids, I say. I students. Students. So these uh, were the answers, right? The, the only one that is not mentioned, it is the one about the boys or the girls, which one is more popular. And if, if it is not mentioned, then it is uh, false. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do uh, in the class, because we are uh, just about to finish, jobs and occupations. I know that you have heard and that you have studied this before, right? The different types of jobs and the different types of occupations. I have divided here this into four different categories. Office work, travel industry, food service, and entertainment. So I have divided in these four categories. And I have some uh, jobs listed right here. I know that there might be many, many, many more, right? But for today, I chose these ones that I have here. I have cashier, chef, company director, dancer, flight attendant, musician, pilot, receptionist, server, singer, tour guide, and website designer. When you talk about jobs, right, it can be classified into many different categories of the places that you might work. But right now I chose these four. If I talk about a cashier, where would you locate a cashier? Do you think that it is office work, food service? Food and service. What is cashier? Food service. A cashier. Food service. Edwin, tell me. Food service. Okay. Edwin, uh, you have your hand up. Food service. Office work. No. What is cashier? Okay, the meaning of cashier, cajero. It can be, yeah. it can be office work or food service because now with the restaurants, you have many people working and uh, charging things in restaurants and all that. So I think it can be in both. It's, uh, it's connect again. She's connecting again. No reason. Okay, I am back. I had difficulties with the connection, but I am back. Okay, can you listen to me? That's use of service or office work. Okay, so I'm very sorry because I, I am having a little bit of issues with the internet, but I am back. <laughs> yes, it's because know of... that you'll be back. Yes, I am always back. Okay, so I am going to continue sharing the screen uh, here, jobs and occupations. I was sharing this one with all of you. Okay, so this is what we were doing. A cashier that can be located in any of the two parts, right? Right, a cashier that can be office work and it can be food service, right? 
It can be office work and food service, the cashier. What about a chef? Food service. A food service. A food service. Food service. Food service. Very good service. job. Service. Food service. Yes, I heard a teacher, teacher. Yes. What it means, cashier? Okay, cashier is cajero. Uh, food service or office work. No. Food service or office work. Good. Yes. A, a company director? Office, office, work. Business. office work. Office work or business, right? Office work yes. or business. What about a dancer? Entertainment business. Entertainment business. Entertainment business. Very good. A flight attendant? Traveling industry. Travel industry. industry, you have it right here. A musician? Entertainment business. Entertainment business. What about a pilot? Travel industry. The travel industry. The pilot, the pilot is the person in charge of the airplanes, right? Pilot. Uh -huh. Travel. Travel. travel industry. Uh, the travel industry. The receptionist? Office work. Office work. Or the travel industry. Right? It can be, I the think same. the receptionist can be also in the food service uh -huh. as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. The server? It's in uh, the food service. service. Food service. service. Food service. Singer? Entertainment, Entertainment business. business. Entertainment, Entertainment business. business. A tour guide. Travel, travel industry. Travel travel industry. Travel industry. industry. Travel industry and the website designer. Well, right now it's in the office work. If you really love what you do, it can be in the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. So those are the different uh, jobs that I chose for uh, this class. Uh, the cashier, cajero, right? Chef, you know what a chef is, a company director too, a dancer, a fly attendant, that it's an aeromosa, aeromoso, musician, musico, pilot, uh, piloto, receptionist, it's the same as in Spanish, server, server would be like mesero, mesera, singer, camarero. singer, ah, camarero, exactly like that, singer, cantante, tour guide, uh, you know what it is, it's the same as in Spanish, and the website designer are uh, some of the most common jobs and occupation. Oh, we have many more. For example, you can tell me teacher, but what about the police officer or the factory worker or the teacher or the Hello, doctor? Yeah. Ooh, we have so doctor. many more. Teacher, that we... teacher. <laughs> yes, the teacher's job. Teacher <laughs> job. <laughs> the teacher's job. So we have many, many, many. And if I start asking you, what is your job or what is your occupation? Oh, you are going to give me many more examples. For example, um, the person who works at home that you might say, hey, but that is not a, a job, huh? but they do a lot more. That it's a housewife. I'm going to write it here for you. A housewife or a housemaid. A housemaid, it's one of the most difficult jobs of the world. Encargada de casa, ama de casa. It is very, very complicated. And you say, like, oof, that, that is one of tired. It's very tiring. It is never ending. It is never ending, right? Siempre hay que comer, siempre hay que lavar, siempre hay que limpiar. You have to do everything all the time. So that it's a very difficult job. And it's very admirable. So let's go here. I am going to go on this little exercise. I think it's the last one that we're going to do for today. And we have a salesperson, una vendedora, right? Un vendedor. A salesperson sells clothes in a department store. Right? As you can see, the activity that the person does is in third person because you are talking about another person that is not you or me, right? A salesperson, 
sells clothes in a department store. A chef, what does a chef do? Cooks food. Cooks food. In a restaurant. In a restaurant, right? A chef cooks food in a restaurant. A flight attendant? Carpenter builds houses for a construction company. A receptionist. In office. In an office. In the last one. A nurse cares for patients in our hospital. Nurse cares for patients in a hospital. Very good job. The pronunciation is patients. 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 Uh, a nurse. A nurse cares for patients in a hospital. Okay. So let's finish with the practice. Claudia. Tell me, the one for the chef. A chef? Chef cooks food in a restaurant. Oscar Guardado, the next one. A flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. Very good. Uh, William. Uh, a carpenter builds his house. In a construction company. Very good job, Mr. Jaime. A receptionist answers the phone in an office. Very good job, Tania Karina. A nurse uh, cares for parents for the early. Okay, wait, 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 wait. A nurse cares for a nurse patients, for patients in, a hospital. in a hospital. Okay, very good job. Uh, okay. Excellent. Well, students, it has been a pleasure. Time flies when you are having a lot of fun. Oh my God, it's time already. It's time uh, to go. Well, I am going to see you tomorrow for our last class of the week. It has been a pleasure for me to accompany you during uh, this day, okay? So have a beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow in the next class. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Everybody. Continue advancing in the platform. Bye-bye. Sweet friends, okay. everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night.